Okay, what's going on, Tycoons? We're going to look at Peloton real quick, ticker symbol P-T-O-N. Um, and before you try to short this company, you need to be cautious, right? A lot of people um, have been shorting this and, you know, the numbers don't look too well for Peloton. Um, but I want to show you some really important data, okay? So if we look here, this is, uh, you know, what are these these ovals right here are going to kind of highlight right around earnings time, okay? And we can see that after they report earnings, right, they went up 12%. After they report earnings, went up 74%. After they report earnings, went up 42%. We are about to report earnings here soon. So you need to be prepared, all right? So, you know, there may be selling pressure heading into earnings, but afterwards, um, after that, you know, there has been historically the past three earnings, a rally after earnings, all right? So if you want to play those, there's a couple ways you could try to play that. Again, this is no financial advice, but really I'm just going to break it down super clean and simple and give you some great technical analysis. Just need you to like, comment, and subscribe. So with these ovals, what we can do is highlight that we have a low here and a lower low here, right? Let's take a look at our RSI, which stands for the relative strength index, right? This is going to monitor the relative strength of the stock at the current price that it's at. So as we see the price drops lower and creates that lower low that we were talking about, the RSI was actually heading upwards. That's what's known as bullish divergence, where there's a divergence from the stock price to the relative strength. It's an indicator that you may see bullish activity in the future, right? So what did we do? We headed into earnings, uh, dropping hard, okay, but with bullish divergence. And look what happened. We got a huge 74% move up, all right? Well, look at what we have today, right? We have our low. OK, we haven't we've created a lower low here. All right. At this level here. But we're going to take a look at the earnings levels. OK, so, you know, as we've repeated right before earnings, it has a tendency to drop. Right. Right before earnings has a tendency to drop. Right before earnings has a tendency to drop. We're heading into earnings. I wouldn't be surprised if this drops and I wouldn't be surprised as well if we rally upwards and have a very nice move. It's been a really wacky, crazy earnings season where stocks are missing um, and you know raging, right? They miss earnings and the stock rages or stock beats earnings and it plummets, right? So it's really tough to navigate the spaces, but the best thing you can do is look at the past patterns, right? So we have three times historic in the, you know, the past three earnings, we've seen a rally after the sell-off heading into earnings, okay? So, you know, look for PLTR to possibly drop and pop hard, right? Now, I'm not saying it's for sure going to go up 40% or 70%, but the last time we went into earnings with the bullish divergence, okay, we got a very strong 75% move almost. And here we are again. If we drop, okay, we don't even have to create a new lower low. If we can maintain this same low, even of 822 or nine dollars it's still above this level here right you see we're currently testing that level so anything below this would be a lower low and again look at the rsi you have a nice bullish divergence going on so you may see peloton fall heading into earnings but if we get a bounce off of this trend line man that could be some really juicy profits now it's not guaranteed right patterns don't have to repeat themselves we could drop and then break this level and head lower all right, 100% that could happen. But, you know, I'm really liking what I see on Peloton. All right, um, now we're going to actually give you guys the price target. So we went over bullish divergence. We went over what it's done previously in the past. Let's take a look and see what levels, what actual price targets I have on Peloton. Okay, so they're going to be right here for you guys. We'll go ahead and zoom the chart in a little bit more. All right, and we'll drag this down here, make the chart a little bit bigger. We've already went over the bullish divergence on our RSI, okay? Let me get this dragged up how I want it here. And this is what I like, okay? Like it here. So what I'm looking at currently, okay, is the Fibonacci's, all right? We have the Fibonacci's, we have our high, we have our low here, okay? It's going to give us all the valid support and resistance levels, and it's going to give us bullish price targets up above, all right? So our breakout level, okay, is above 1626. Above 1626, we have the possibility to go to 1845 and 2123, all right? Currently, we are just below the 50% retracement, okay? Um, so, you know, we bounced. We were able to retrace that move 78.6% of the way, and we're currently sitting at 38.2% support level, okay? So that's right at a dollar or 1129 
all right, and 1012 are going to be our two major support levels, okay? So if this thing drops and continues to drop heading into earnings, we want to look to see if it finds support at 1012 or 1129. If it can hold those two levels, um, you know, then those are some levels that you can basically get in at and you can either have a stop loss below. Once we break below 1129, you can have a stop loss at 10.12 or you could play the level down here at 822 as your stop loss. Whatever your own risk to reward ratio is, right? What we're going to look for is to break past the 1224 level, break past the 1319 level, break past the 1454 and ultimately test our breakout level and see, are we going to get a bullish breakout up to 1845 and possibly even 2123, right? Now, that would be a huge, huge move. Um, not saying that it would happen in one day just on earnings, but if the stock was to rally, let's say 20% or something like that, um, you know, these are going to be some really, really important levels, right? We're either going to get rejected around this one, this one, this one, or this one. So you need to have an area of where to take profit at, right? So that's what these are, okay? So using your own risk to reward strategy, you can figure if you want to, you know, enter here around $11, sell around 13, sell around 1224, sell around 1454, 1626, again and again, right? What, again, you know, whatever your own tolerance is. Now we do have a little bit of some, some things to be a little bit cautious of. Okay. Um, what I would say is we have a little bit of an ascending wedge right now. Okay. So that's this pattern here. And the way the pattern works is you play out and you keep progressing higher until you break this trend line here. All right. And let's say we just broke that, you know, this trend line and we broke that 1129 support, right. You would head down to complete the pattern back down to 822. All right. So do need to be cautious of that. Um, but if we stay in the pattern, okay, and we stay in the pattern, just keep zigzagging back and forth. All right. You can look for it to stay bullish, right? Because it is a, a, you know, moving upwards. We are bullish, even though this pattern is a bearish pattern to be cautious of. All right. So that's basically the main things, the main levels, um, and everything that I'm looking at at Peloton heading into earnings. I'd appreciate it if you smash the like button, comment the next video you want to see, okay, because I do viewer requests every single week. Uh, so if you want a specific stock or maybe a strategy or a tutorial, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.